So while WWE 2K19 doesn't get its full global release until October 19th, the full complete roster was released earlier this week, and as usual, it's a mad blend of current Raw and SmackDown superstars, NXT prospects, and of course, legends from the past. The talent pool is literally hundreds strong, but it's not complete, and as usual, unfortunately, a number of wrestlers that fans would have looked forward to playing with just aren't included. Now, some of these wrestlers may eventually make their way into the game as part of DLC, but it's surprising that they didn't make the initial cut in the first place, and the same goes for the swathes of wrestlers that have weirdly been removed from 2K18 and are nowhere to be found in 2K19. Now, it's certainly true that 2K can't cram everyone into the game, but even still, some of these are unforgivable. With that in mind, I'm Andy for What Culture Wrestling, and here are the six most shocking roster omissions from WWE 2K19. Number six. Six, Brian Kendrick. Currently featured on 205 Live as part of Drew Gulak's gang of grapple f***ers, grizzled headlock pirates, Brian Kendrick was in 2K18, but he's out of here this time around. That's an odd one, because Brian is regularly featured on TV, and the likes of Akira Tozawa and TJP have made it into the game in his place. Now, I love those guys, but Kendrick's a guy whose legacy extends well beyond 205 Live and deep into the past, and he probably should have been in there. While the wee man isn't exactly a game changer at this stage in his career, he still has a fan base and besides, that entrance theme would have been pretty banging for all your created wrestlers. Number 5, Nikki Cross. Another 2K18 inclusion missing from this year's game, Nikki Cross is one of the best wrestlers in NXT's women's division, so it's really quite weird that she hasn't made the cut, and no, that's not just my inherent Scottish bias speaking either. It's another disappointment for Cross, who has had her fair share in 2018, having seen her sanity stablemates promoted to the main roster, while well, she was still stuck in developmental, and of course, surpassed by the likes of Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler in the women's division. Now, I'm sure her rumoured imminent main roster call-up will compensate for this if it happens, but regardless, it would have been fun to see her included in the game. Number 4, Jeff Jarrett. Quite how Double J, the craftiest worker in the game, the master of turning turning £10 into £10.50 and a packet of crisps wasn't able to graft his way into WWE 2K19 is surprising, particularly as he was a Hall of Fame inductee earlier this year. To be fair, 2K will probably announce some kind of Hall of Fame DLC because the Dudley boys aren't even included either and that's just plain weird, but you won't be playing as these old fellas on launch. Jarrett is a former Intercontinental Champion and certified mad bastard and while he hasn't always been in Vince McMahon's good books, he should really be in the game. Number 3, Bobby Lashley. Given that WrestleMania is generally given as the cutoff date for whether or not a wrestler makes it into 2K and that Bobby didn't debut until April 9th, perhaps we shouldn't be so surprised by this after all. Actually, you know what? Bollocks to that. Bobby's been a featured guy ever since he came back, and yeah, he hasn't exactly been able to show his best work since returning to WWE, but surely he's a really prominent figure and 2K, for once, could have made an exception to their cutoff policy. Keep in mind that WWE and 2K would have known of Bobby's imminent return long before it actually happened, and this is even more inexcusable. Now, a few weeks ago, this guy was feuding with Roman Reigns, but if you want to play with him in-game, you're going to have to download some 12-year-old's dodgy community creation. Number 2, Mick Foley. What the... Mick, Mick Foley? There's, there's no Mick Foley in 2K19. Are you sure about this? What the hell? So, yeah, there's no sign of one of the most beloved and important wrestlers in WWE history in this year's game, not as Mankind, not as Cactus Jack, not as Dude Love, not even as his real name. That's a glaring omission, particularly as the Legends lineup was released on the very week of the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, a stipulation that Foley helped make famous in the first place. It's not like WWE to pass up a marketing opportunity, but there you go. Removing him from the game doesn't make any damn sense, and it's enough to make you wonder who the hell Mick has pissed off. He might show up as DLC, but regardless, this is just really weird. Number 1. Tommaso Ciampa. He's the NXT champion, one of the biggest heels in the business, and a guy who has starred in what will finish as many people's feud of the year with Johnny Gargano, but Tommaso Ciampa is nowhere to be found. He should have been one of the first NXT names on the list, along with the likes of Aleister Black, the Undisputed Era, and of course Gargano, but check this, check out some of the names that have been included instead. Tyler Bates, Pete Dunne, Oni Larkin. Now I love all those guys, but are any of them bigger than Ciampa? Hmm. And then there's the likes of Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, Shane Thorne, Nick Miller, Tucker Knight, and Otis Dozovic. Otis Dozovic, but not Tommaso Ciampa. What? Now, Ciampa obviously wasn't NXT champion at the time the developers were putting the game together, but he was still pretty damn prominent, and this 
doesn't make any damn sense. So that's our rundown of WWE 2K19's most shocking roster omissions, but have you noticed any others? Let us know down in the comments section below. And once you've done that, take yourselves over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE, where you'll find all kinds of great articles, including the one that this very list is based on, written by my Scottish brethren, Jamie Kennedy. You'll have a great time. I've been Andy, and I'll see you later.